a host of dignitaries, archbishops, bishops, families and congregants gathered at the St. Matthias House, the new National Secretariat of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, for the book presentation and the launch of Nicholas Oko Foundation. The event is used to kickstart the retirement of His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oko, whose tenure is due by March 2020. ACNN correspondent Charles Philip Wakolam has more of the story. Tomorrow must be greater than today. Your tomorrow must be greater than today. The primate of all Nigeria, Archbishop of Metropolitan Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Dikirehi Orogodo Oko, kickstarted his retirement with a book presentation and the launching of the Nicholas Oko Foundation. Okay. Presentation of the book titled Not by Power Nor by Might and the foundation launch was held at the St. Matthias House, the new National Secretariat of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion at Gudu Abuja and was graced by lots of dignitaries, archbishops and bishops. Most notably are former Head of State General Yakubu Gowan, former President Goodluck Bele Jonathan, representatives of host of governors. The father of the day is His Grace, former primate Peter Jasper Kionla, who in the company of other dignitaries unveiled the book for launching. When other girls didn't, Uncasiobi saw tomorrow. Married. In his speech, the book reviewer writes Reverend Professor Emmanuel Adjulo, the retired bishop of Okini Diocese, reiterated that in spite of his great work for God, Primate Oko is a great family man and has a very understanding wife. While speaking to the gentlemen of the press, Primate Oko revealed what inspired the book. He also said that it has been his desire to help people, hence the Nicholas Oko Foundation. The purpose is not so much to people outside, but also to Christians inside. I'm not satisfied with what we call Christianity in Nigeria. There is so much, there is a yearning gap between our profession, what we say, and what we do. And it's discrediting us very badly. So we want our children, our followers, to know that we have not arrived. It's not enough to clap hand and dance. It's not enough to sing throughout the night. We must back it up with moral integrity. Yeah, when I leave, in the coming year, I want to continue my work as a man of God to be able to support people. Also speaking to the press was the former president of Nigeria, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, who showered eulogy on the man of God. The primate, as you know very well, is a disciplined person. He rose to a very high level in the army. Probably that gives him the level of discipline that we have noticed. I believe that all Christians should emulate him. He has done very well as our own uh, leader. I believe that we Christians should show reasonable level of discipline and humility in all we do, especially those of us who are in leadership positions. As elders in the churches, our pastors, our bishops, and others who society look up to for leadership. At the end of the event, Primate Oko appreciated everyone for coming out to support his vision when he steps down as the primate. I appreciate what you have done for me and my family by helping me to find a job when I lose my job. <laughs> Very soon now, I will be a jobless man. But with what you have done, I will have an office to report to. <laughs> Charles Philip Wakolam, ACNN TV. The Archbishop Metropolitan and the Primate Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion has called on Christians to put their personal lives and relationship with God first before worldly riches, as wealth and riches do not qualify anyone to make heaven. While at his book presentation and launch of Nicholas Oko Foundation, Archbishop Oko admitted that there is an alarming hunger in Nigeria 
but making heaven should be on the minds of all Christians. It's true that poverty is affecting us in this part of the world and making us to take very, very terrible decisions. But you remember that when debt comes, money has no value. So when we face the challenge of facing the Lord, we should be able to be true to ourselves so that we don't go to see God with extra luggage that are not necessary.